I want to explain object-oriented programming, the basics of object-oriented programming, by doing an example, an example that when you're finished, you'll be able to use it in your everyday programming. It's a class called Smart URL, which allows you to easily build URLs. So let's begin. A class starts like this. You have class name, Smart URL. And then let's start it so that we have a constructor. Function construct base URL, for instance. This base URL equals base URL. OK. And we have an internal variable, internal variables, private base URL, for instance. That is the beginning of a class. What these parts are, this is the constructor. This allows us to do the following. Smart URL equals new smart URL. And the constructor is the method that gets called when you create an object. So it's asking for a base URL. We'll give it this one. So let's label this constructor. The internal variable is the value that gets passed via the constructor when the object gets constructed. That value is then saved into the internal variable mbase URL. So now we want to, let's do it here, we want to print or output the URL simply as a start. Let me do this first. We'll call it render, public method render. And for now, we will set r, which is the return variable, to nothing as we build it. We will simply add the base URL. We'll call it base URL. And This is a public method. That means that it's available to our code, which constructs the object up here. We say smart URL. It shows us all of the methods. We choose render. That's going to return the base URL simply. And we will echo it. And that is the basis of our class. Let's test it. It works. So that's a long way to simply print out this URL, but we will now see that we get more and more functionality because we're doing it in an object-oriented way. But before we do that, let's just review what we've done so far. We have here a class, and here we instantiate a new class, or a new object, I mean, using the class. We send it a URL. When the object gets instantiated, the URL is passed as base URL, and that gets saved internally in an internal variable, mbase URL. And then we echo out the output from the render method. What does the render method do? It simply gets the base URL out of the internal variable and adds it to the output text. That gets passed back and that gets output.